Harmon family lived here, and there was a young teenage girl named Amelia Harmon, and she lived here, and that's what she saw out her window. She saw the Confederate Army, the Army of Northern Virginia, coming across Hare's Ridge, coming right onto her family's farm. So we had a house and a barn here. So what did we see? What did we see? As we were coming through those trees, from North Carolina, Alabama, and Tennessee. Archer's Brigade, Bergman's 26th North Carolina Regiment, Alabama troops, I can't recall how many, but there was a lot of us. We had Tennessee and Alabama on the left, and we had North Carolina on the right. Now today, on July 2nd, 13th South Carolina be rolling through here. They were Harmons too. So we rolled through here with General Archer on the march. Didn't think we were going to see much of nothing. We thought maybe there was a few scouting parties, some Yankees. But before we knew it, rolling across this farm, we saw those boys in blue with those black hats and we'd seen them before. Right through those trees, right at us. Shooting, hollering, and so were we. And some of the sharpshooters took up positions in that barn, killing some of our men back there in the woods. So we had to burn that barn down. The house was next. We got the ladies out of the house, though. The ladies got back in the trees, and General Robert E. Lee gave them permission to stay up at the old widow Thompson's house once those positions were taken. 142nd Pennsylvania was pushed back, Indiana was pushed back, the Iron Brigade, Michigan was pushed back, Wisconsin was pushed back. And one old John Burns, old man even came out of town, he fired a few shots at us too. We lost General Archer, General Archer was captured right over here. The last we saw was a big Irishman hauling them off. There wasn't much we, were, we could do, those boys sure could fight. This farm, it changed hands six times, maybe eight times. I was a little too busy to count. I was a little busy ducking and shooting.
something else, isn't it? Hey, hey, what's shaking? It's Warlord, we're live. Look at the tree on the left. You'll see some soldiers in the distance right straight ahead. And we are not live, this is a recording, or I would have put Battlefield Live Cam. And I think we are going to do some Battlefield Live Cam, you guys, so stay tuned. Awesome, awesome. Look at right in the center, look right in the middle. Rows of soldiers walking around. This should right this should be right over by the Rose Farm. And so today in our ultimate general Gettysburg, we're going to be fighting in my neighborhood. I'm getting used to this game. I think I've got the controls and movement down fairly well. It's a pretty simple game to play. Thought I'd share a little bit of my home here on the Gettysburg battlefield. And I really do live on a battlefield. <laughs> We're going to be on the battlefield in this game. If you guys are interested in this conflict, if you guys are interested in this decade or this era, tune in. I'll be sharing a lot of history. So what does the original Gettysburg ghost hunter say about the ghosts of Gettysburg? To those who say these are good stories, if you would believe in ghosts, I say. You don't have to believe in ghosts to believe these stories. All that you have to believe in are the powers of human observation. For these stories are eyewitness accounts of experiences at Gettysburg. Still, there are those who doubt what I have written and collected from the percipients of the paranormal at Gettysburg. Scientists are great skeptics since paranormal experiences they feel cannot be recreated in a laboratory. I saw a recent TV special in which scientists have been shown in photos and videos of paranormal events to watch on TVs in their labs. They proceeded to explain how easily the videos or photos could have been faked. I am not a scientist, but I know that if you want to find out if things are faked or not, the first thing you do is watch the experiment being done in person. The next thing you do is to try to do the experiments yourself. Not one of the scientists pronouncing the fakes had ever been along when the videos were being made. I have. I have, a, I have accompanied numerous paranormal investigators on forays into haunted houses, cemeteries, and battlefields. Intrigued, I purchased the equipment and have made videos and taken photos and asked questions in the silence of the darkened battlefield and have heard noises and voices recorded when there were none to be heard while recording nothing. I can say unequivocally that my presence was ever faked. You must realize that it is obviously not the ghost's fault that they cannot be explained scientifically. The ghost is merely evidence of something that our current definition of science is too narrow to explain. And that's from Mark Nesbitt, Ghosts of Gettysburg. Highly recommended. You guys want to take a ghost tour? Go to the original. Ghosts of Gettysburg, Mark Nesbitt. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys are interested in more ghost cams, and I'm going to be having some live cams out on the battlefield in different parts of the battlefield at different times of the day in different seasons, and I'll share some stories with you guys. If you guys would like to hear some ghost stories, I've got hundreds. <laughs> I have a couple of my own. But I thought you guys might enjoy a little bit of the battlefield here where I live. And we have another blizzard coming on Saturday. And so everything's pretty frozen outside. The winds have finally died down. I had a couple of days of really wonky streams, and I realized finally that's because of the 50 mile winds, 50 mile an hour winds outside. I'm surrounded by cow pastures because I live on a battlefield. There's a small neighborhood across the street, but it's also a big grassy part of the battlefield. And so the wind blows. And boy, it was hitting up shaking this brick building. I couldn't believe it. It's like Chicago all over again. It's awesome. 
but my internet kept cutting out and the streams kept cutting out, but shit, we always have fun. Yep, keep an eye on that tree on the left. I've got some more footage too, you guys, I'll share, I'll share with you. All kinds of good Gettysburg stuff. Key up some tunes from some friends of mine I think you all might like. And so all these tunes are I, I am using with permission from my friends. Rock and roll. Heck yeah, I did good. I had the microphone on. Yep, I got my Hollywood copy on. Yep, we're doing Civil War. Made a new scene and everything. Rock and roll. So the music is from my friends from Romney, West Virginia. And they are called Rebel Union. And they are absolutely freaking fabulous. Shout outs to Brenda and the family. Those folks stayed at the Brick House Inn here uh, in Gettysburg. And that's where I met them. Fabulous musician, so let's give him a listen. I think you guys might like it. That's the real deal. That's the real deal, Appalachian Mountain music right there. And Romney is the heart. I'm fortunate to have some royalty free, copyright free music. Ah, oh, tea. Tea cures everything. Doctor Who said so. My doctor. The fourth one. Dr. Green Buds. <sighs> and no, there is no Confederacy racism in this channel or in this person. important thing about this battle, the new birth of freedom. You'll hear that a lot in Gettysburg. You'll see that a lot in Gettysburg, a new birth of freedom. If you visit the visitor center, the Foundation Visitor Center, which is the Gettysburg Museum, and it is the best damn Civil War museum in the country. If you were going to go to one, go to that one. But when you go on the tour, Initially, you'll see a 10, 15 minute, really nice video in a really nice little theater that they usher you right into. And it's a nice little presentation about the new birth of freedom. Well, we'll play a little bit. Y'all are snoozing. And if you y'all are snoozing, and if you tune in later, and if you're tuning in now, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys are having a chill night. I am totally relaxed. I actually had MS moment of the day. I think I probably had a, a probably the best day of the year. Yeah, I was feeling pretty good today. Feeling pretty good today. Got some chores done and all that good stuff, and boy, it sure is beautiful outside. So I'm looking at Hare's Ridge out my window. We'll see Hare's Ridge in the game. 
We're going to see the Hairs Ridge Inn. It's right there. You guys have seen it on my cam, so we're going to see it in the game. Rock and roll. Let me get some more cams set up. If I set up a cam in my bedroom, we can look at the this whole western one part of the battlefield of McPherson's Ridge to my left. I can have a cam on that. You can actually see Buford and the first cannon that fired the first shots. You can see General Reynolds' statue from my bedroom. And if I look to the west, to my right, is McPherson is Hare's Ridge and the old Hare's Ridge Inn. Cow pastures. Smoke them if you got them. Movie of the moment. I don't know if you all saw uh, Free State of Jones. I did like that movie very much. Thought it was well done. I posted a uh, 360 Civil War view from the Civil War Trust, now known as the American Battlefield Trust. Everyone's so used to saying Civil War Trust. But that 360 is really cool. If you guys ever wonder what it looked like in Petersburg at the end of the war, check that out on my Discord. Spin that around or hop on the Civil War Trust. Give them a like, give them a follow. Wish they were on Twitch. But they're on YouTube. Sometimes they go live on YouTube and mostly on Facebook. But Gary Edelman puts on a good show. personal page, Daryl Tungit on YouTube. If you follow the links on my about section, I have a lot of content like that. I have a lot of, I have an excursions into the past series where I hobo around Gettysburg on the battlefield, explore, usually in a solitary fashion. <coughs> Discovery is a solitary occupation oftentimes. And I also have field notes from the fringes of the earth. I talk about uh, paganism, nature, that sort of thing. Excursions into the past for history. And then I have my multiple sclerosis series, my MS moments, my MS notes. And then I have my own uh, personal stuff. Just chilling, chatting, talking, goofing, whatever. Got some comedy on there too. So check out my other page. I'm pretty close to um, monetizing my YouTube channel. That'd be really good. That'd be really good for me financially. It's my YouTube, you know, YouTube's funny. It's like uh, I've got almost a thousand uh, subscribers on YouTube, but I've got like lots and lots of views on content like that, like ghost stuff and Gettysburg stuff. Living in Gettysburg is kind of like living in Disneyland and everybody likes Disneyland and you live in Disneyland, you know? So people really like Gettysburg videos and content, photos. And it's the most famous small town in America. Changed the course of the, changed the course of history for our country. Right on, checking the stream, checking it once, checking it twice. What's shaking, Mikator? What the heck, man? I was thinking about you today. I can't remember what, though. How are you? I was thinking we finally got your weather. How was your day? You always seem like you're busy, busy, busy on the go. That's a good thing. It is a good evening. It is. So thanks for making it better. Really? Ooh, nice. I've never done that. I've slaughtered plenty of pigs and burros and goats. I am good. 
actually. Today, dude, on, I, I told Warband this earlier. I was on his stream. Today was probably the best health day I've had this year. I've been really sick like all year, but today, man, I got up, dude. I was in good shape. I was like really good shape. Yeah, thank you for asking. Today's probably the best health day. I'm doing good. Got a bath, got some chores done. Put together a new scene. I always thought that skull was hilarious. Thank you very much. That skull, I found that on like this obscure Civil War. That's from a real Civil War deck of cards. That's like real deal, I didn't make that. Civil Confederate deadhead. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to find out from some friends like what that's all about. The jo the jester with the skull and I don't know what the deadhead because you know I'm a deadhead. I like the Grateful Dead. I like the old timey Grateful Dead stuff like we're listening to now, not the new modern stuff. Good, good, good. What did you listen to today? What music did you throw a band my way? What did you listen to today? I'm curious. Drink your cocoa. We have another blizzard. You know why my stream... I don't know if you watched my videos or anything because I gave you a shout out a bunch of times, as always. Um, do you know why my... Battle Beast. <laughs> right on. Kick ass. My stream was all messed up, dude, for like two days. My stream was all crappy. Yeah, right on. That made me think of... Uh, I am the night color me black by priestess. Yeah, dude, outside when we were chatting and my stream is messed, there's like 50 mile an hour winds outside. There's like three feet of snow. The, I live in a brick building and the, the building was shaking and my internet was going out. My internet went out like 12 times. We were like losing power for like a second. And it was shutting everything off. And the stream would like kick back on and shit. So yeah, that was like the whole... So I'm hoping I'm going to have some joy. I'm playing a really simple kind of retro game. So it should be, you know, should have some joy. The weather's cool now. Stuff's starting to melt a little bit. The guy's got this all tractored up and everything. But um, we're supposed to get another storm on Saturday. So we'll see. If you guys get weather, we usually get it a day or two later. We know it's coming. And if the mountains don't stop it, then we'll get it. If you get it, we'll get it a day or two later. That's why I always ask you what the weather's like. Mmm, black spice tea. It's like the good old days. My wife used to just grow it. We grew everything. She'd make our own tea. So my dad always said, he said, you like that strawberry? Put it in the ground. You'll always have strawberries. Right on. Have you ever played this? I love this game. It's freaking nuts, man. So before I bore you to death, I think I'll freaking jump into the game because it's pitching. This is a pretty easy, pr pretty easy, simple game to play. It's not like Total War. I haven't played Total War in years. Last time I played Total War. Last time I played Total War, they had like a Viking expansion pack, and that's why I got it was for the Viking expansion pack. Yeah, this is really simple, but it's cool. Like, I know all the history and everything. We're actually in my yard. If you want to see where I live, that's where we're fighting. I always tell you guys, I always tell you guys, there's like 51,000 men right there in that hill. And in the game, that's where they are. It's pretty cool. So I dig it. I dig it. Little Gettysburg. I'm going to play these goofy Gettysburg. So Irish Reb... Our moderator, Irish Reb, he wants to play some multiplayer. Now here's the thing. Now Cody, I love you to death. Cody's a sergeant major of the Army of Northern Virginia, for real. C 
Cody said this game's really hard. He's played it for years. On my first look, I'd never played it before and I got epic. But I know the terrain, I know the topography. I don't have to, I know where the hills are. I know where to put the damn art, I know where to put the artillery. I know what they did on day one to be successful. And I kind of, I can show you what they did on day one. So bitchin', you wanna see this game? Freaking ghost cam, dude, you wanna see some ghosts? Mercator, you wanna see some ghosts? I got the ghost cam. You wanna see some ghosts? You do, don't you? I ain't kidding, it ain't no hoax. You see ghost stuff in Gettysburg, it's real. That's it. Anywhere else, I'm skeptical about, but Gettysburg, you see something? You saw something. Cool. Oh yeah, dude. I did. Yeah, I started out with the ghost cam. Check out the ghost cam. Right on. Awesome, dude. Check it out. Keep an eye on the tree on the left. Watch the tree on the left. This is at the Rose Farm. You can find this on YouTube. It's not live. But I made a nice big loop of a ghost cam. But this is some. Right on. I'd love to. You're it. Maybe you can. Oh, yeah, dude. All the time. Are you kidding me? I'll tell you what, man. It'll put the hair up on your neck. You're welcome anytime, dude. I'll give you a tour. It's going to take us at least two days for me to show you this battlefield. We do day one and day two on one day, and then we do day three on the last day. Because we go to the east part of the battlefield, Culp's Hill, that's its own day. Over here where I live is the longest two days of the battle. This, look at the tree on the left. If I see something from Gettysburg, I'm just bona fide it's not hoaxed at all. Watching the, the tree on the left and then straight ahead to the left of that white tree. You'll see soldiers walking. I see shit like this. I've seen it like three times with my own eyes. And you just, it is like not the dude, your hair goes up on your, look at the bodies walking. The hair goes up on your arms because you can't explain it. It's unexplainable and you're looking right at it. And immediately you're like, oh, it's a, uh, uh, it's a uh, beam of light. You like try to make sense of it. You know, you're like, oh, maybe it was a deer. But after you walk 10 feet, you're like, no, that was real. I saw what I saw. And it was, you know, people, there's just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of accounts here in Gettysburg. And I mean, I've seen things at other battlefields that were just right in my face. People, yeah, this is a loop. I put a loop. But this is out at the Rose Farm. Yeah, this isn't live, but stay tuned for live. Because I was talking to a pal of mine today, actually, Dr. Greenbuds here in our channel, our VIP and he's going to uh, help me get some live cams out on the battlefield in different parts of the battlefield at different seasons. Wouldn't that be bitching? Yeah, so because there's no live cams here in Gettysburg. Dude, the ghosts are freaking totally freaky. No, this is not, If it's, like I've been saying, if this comes out of Gettysburg, it's legit. It's totally legit. Anywhere else, if it's Sandusky, Ohio, I'd be skeptical. This is Gettysburg. 51,000 men went missing, were killed, or wounded, a small portion wounded. But more people died here in Gettysburg at this battle than any war that America has ever fought. More men died here in three days than the Vietnam War. There's bodies buried everywhere. That's why they tell you to park on the road, don't park on the grass, you're parking on a cemetery. And so, yeah, it's, <laughs> I, yeah, I thought I'd share. I thought I'd be a, it would be a good be right back, you know? <laughs> so stay tuned because this year is going to be a good year. It's going to be a great year for content. It's definitely going to be a, uh, it's going to be a good year for content. Living history, living history, real deal. And I mean, I'll be doing, 
I'll be behind the camera <laughs> this next decade. So, and um, cams in the battlefield. There's no cams out in the battlefield. And people want their Gettysburg, man. It's like living in Disneyland for history, you know? And it's, Gettysburg's a beautiful preserved place. It is, it's, <laughs> it's a beautiful preserved place. That's, that's the number one reason I moved here. It's really pretty here. It's like the 1700s. Yeah, it's totally freaky, man. There's parts of the battlefield that if I, when I'm walking home, when I used to walk home, um, it's dark out, I will avoid those parts of the battlefield. And I'm tougher than a coffin, now come see for yourself. And there's parts of the battlefield, I'm just like, I'm not in the mood to see anything freaky tonight, so I'm not gonna go that way. I'll take the long way home. Instead of like, cause I know I'm gonna see something weird and it will just freak my shit out, you know? I won't be sleeping that night and be like, oh fuck, what did I see? So I'll go around <laughs> places. You'll hear shit, you'll hear like hundreds of whispers in the woods next to, you're walking on the road next to you in the woods, you'll hear people whispering. Out of the corner of my eye, I've seen what looked like a general with a big hat and he's smoking a cigar. Out of the corner of my eye, it's at night, I'm walking home from, the, from a gas station, I went to get some candy bars, and it's like totally freaking me out. There's this like general standing there in the woods. And I just didn't even look, I just kept going. So, that's a couple of my ghost stories. <laughs> Gettysburg, man. That freaking big hat general. I'm yeah, it's general heat or something. Holy shit. It's like ten o'clock at night. I'm walking home. I just wanted to go get like an orange soda at a Snickers bar or something. Yep, Gettysburg. Welcome to Gettysburg. The most haunted ground in America, mile for mile, as Mark Nesbitt has said. And he's the original ghost hunter. Earlier in the stream, if you tune in later, I did a reading from one of his books from So stay tuned. If you've seen Ghosts of Gettysburg at all, like in the History Channel and stuff, that's Mark Nesbitt. He's the original. Gettysburg probably now, these days, has more ghost tours than they have Civil War tours. It's like Halloween Central. But it's fun. It's fun and it's... You want to get haunted, come to Gettysburg. Yeah, that's your shameless uh, pitch for tourism of the day from MS Warlord. So you guys will play a game. Let's play July 1st in the morning, 8 a.m. You guys saw my video. You certainly did. Harmon family lived here. And that one. And that's where we're going. Harmon. She lived here. Yep. Across the road from my house. Cool beans. I'm going to play. Don't expect any high impact action. Because I am in freaking slow motion mode. <laughs> And dude, McCater, as always, thanks for the company. Thanks for giving a shit. Thanks for being Parisno. And on that note, if you're still there, yeah, Parisno. Got Parisno green. Good green. <laughs> you are still there. Yep, I got Parisno green, dude. It's official. I just love that. So you need to put something in the game that's like old Toby, but Parisno green. And it like heals you a little bit. Yeah, when I saw that, I said, oh, and so if Dr. Greenbuds comes in our room, he brought me that today. And I was like, oh my God, that's perfect for Parisno because I've been playing Parisno. And I was like, dude, good green. I was like, yeah, I got to show my friend that, man. He makes Parisno. I was like, it's good green. It's like, we got to name it Parisno Green. <laughs> so that's my medicine, and I'm a happy camper. I'll be sleeping like a normal freaking human being. What that really does for me, I mean, it chills out my body from, like, aches and pains from my illnesses, but what, it really, what I really use that for is narcolepsy. Because with that, I can sleep like a normal person, man. 
you know? I do. It's just weird. I don't know why. <laughs> you know, I, I, I puff, and then I have a normal sleeping schedule. But if I don't, it's out of control. It's weird. It's weird, and this is a cool freaking game. It is. I'm digging this. This game's perfect for me. Yeah. Oops. Didn't like that. Let's try that again. Want to fire that up, and it's fired up, and then it. There we go. Cool beans. Now let's choose my screen. I'm just choosing screens and stuff to play the game. Rock and roll. Cool, cool. Paris no freaking green. Dude, I jumped back and I've been playing my giant campaign. And it's like when you don't play something for a little while and you go back in and then you see the graphics all over again. It's like it's like seeing them for the first time again. I was like, ah. Oh. I was like, oh, I got my own city. I was like, shit. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Good. Yep, get that good intro. I think we're good now. Right on. I think we're good. Let's try that again. Bitch in. I dig that right there. Boom. Unity. I can see. I think you were saying you wanted to use Unity. I can see why. This is such a freaking cool game. This this game is, is kind of like the game. I, and shout outs to Irish Reb. Thanks for the suggestion, bro. And so I got Ultimate General Gettysburg and Ultimate General Civil War. And I can't freaking wait to play those other Civil War battles. Are you shitting me? If it's like this, because this, you know, I talked about this in my first look video. Games as medicine, games as therapy. Because strategy games and stuff like this, on days where I'm having a hard time focusing or I'm feeling ill, I need a chill game to play. Kind of like, it's exercises, okay, on focus. There's games being made specifically for people with different chronic illnesses to help them with their illnesses and their symptoms. People are making games specifically for that. And so it's like, I seek out games like this because it will help me with my cognitive dysfunction. So right on gaming, games are good for so many things. And I think too many people in my generation dismiss games as um, trivial pursuits. And they shouldn't. So we're in, everything's looking groovy. Holy cow, my mic's on. Shit, I did good. I am doing great today. It's still me inside Benjamin Buttons. Yes, this is freaking cool. I freaking dig this. This is perfect. Sometimes there's some weeks where I'm in, I don't know, bad shape. This is this is a good game. Rock and roll. Yeah, this is bitching. It's just perfect. Ha! It's even orange. You can't beat it. The sound, how we doing you and transparency sounds looking good. The music's a little loud. That's cool. Right on. Controls are simple. Where is that dog gone? I'm gonna forget all this stuff. Fall back is F. I keep freaking forgetting that. I want my guys to just fall back. I couldn't remember that damn control. I don't want them to turn around to get shot in the back. I couldn't remember. I just want them to take 20 paces back. So rock and roll, man. We be freaking fighting as General Archer. First Tennessee, hell yeah. Kick ass. Auto Weapon Z. Cool, cool, cool. What am I missing? Play, pause, cool. Halt. So I can use space as halt. I usually hold. I use H. Walk, run. I didn't know I could use that. Shit, I didn't know that. I've been marching at regular pace. You don't want them to be tired anyway. Nah. Oh boy, we're gonna be doing some good flanking. Cool, whatever. The one I keep forgetting is F. Cool, cool. Gameplay. Alawas, I think that's cool. Right on. Bitchin', bitchin', this is real simple. Yes. July 1st, 8 a.m. 
Warlord's house. Bitchin'. Look at this. The Union deploys efficient artillery, better drilled infantry, and better equipment in their battles in order to tackle the enemy with orderly and intense fire. However, most Union generals are uninspiring. I don't know about that. What about Hancock and Reynolds? Come on. Shitting me? This causes poor performance in close combat and average morale. Well, if that were the case, then the Union wouldn't have held and they wouldn't have won the damn battle. Confederate soldiers are universally high-spirited and courageous. They are able to sustain heavy fire without breaking in our hard experienced troops. They were skin and bones, totally exhausted and wiped out. They just marched about a thousand miles through the mountains. Confederate equipment is, though, less advanced. No, it's not. They were using Enfields just like mine in there. That sucker's accurate at 500 yards, and they got them from the British. So, yeah. I have an Enfield. I like my Enfield. Compared to Union, and they are less lack professional military training. I don't know, man. The generals are pretty hardcore. Drill, drill, drill. It's all we ever do is drill, drill, drill. Leading to a disadvantage in prolonged engagements at range. Horseshit. Confederates have awesome rifles. Shout outs to Enfield. I portray Yankee artillery and I do Confederate infantry and I portray a civilian farmer. And I do indeed portray my ancestors in first person. Rock and roll. So we're gonna do Confederate. Kick ass. And this is great and I'm gonna play around with this but in reality, the enemy was defensive. This entire battle, they were defensive. There were no great charges by the Yanks at all. They were smart, they freaking got in the high ground and they held it and uh, depleted the uh, Confederates. Pickett's charge, 15,000 men charged, 5,000 made it out. And that was that. That was the high water mark, that was the turning point of the war that kept our nation together and free the people was that one charge. A lot of people would say, Cope said a lot of other things, sure that factor, but focus on boom, angle, high water mark, deciding factor in American history. Go to battle, defensive shit. No, I'm not boosting AI, they'll roll all over me. They almost captured my general. And so I'm still learning to play this but I'm not totally stupid. I probably know about 80 or 90% of this. Cool beans. Fighting Joe Mead, boy, I'd sure like to get General Mead here for an interview. General Mead's a friend of mine. Shout outs to Joe, you might be watching this shit, you might be playing this. So rock and roll, you're always welcome for a cup of coffee. I'd love to interview Joe on live stream. Yep, 2264 soldiers, six guns, kick ass, 4182. Yep, 9,000, 9,000, look at that. They're gonna be sitting over at the seminary. They're gonna be right up here at McPherson's Ridge, right to my left. The Confederates will be coming right from my right. Boom, that's where we're at, right here. Kick ass, General Lee gave the order to avoid any engagements until the Army of Northern Virginia arrives. The latest reports indicate that only some local militia defends the town of Gettysburg. Gettysburg's a wheel, that's how it's laid out. It's like a, uh, it's a center, it's a wheel, it's got roads going out in every direction to all major towns. It's a hub. The latest reports indicate that only some local militia defends the town of Gettysburg. That's what the Confederates thought. But Joe Meade was looking for Robert E. Lee didn't know where they were. And Robert E. Lee was looking for me. Your mission is to capture all the western ridges. So we got to capture McPherson's Ridge, Oak Ridge, Hare's, Hare's Ridge, McPherson's Ridge, Oak Ridge. Cool. What's up, Tanker? Dude, how are you? Dude, we're in my backyard. You want to see where I live? 
How are you, man? Good to see you. Heck yeah, right on. All right, check this out. Here we go. I just got to show you. I'm all proud of myself. Yeah, what's shaking? Dude, good to see you, man. I think I missed a couple of your streams. I like watching you guys. You guys play, you play some crazy people. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. I hope you're well. You want to see the ghost cam? You want to see the ghost cam? He does. He wants to see the ghost cam, too. Welcome to the ghost cam over at the Rose Farm. We'll be headed to the Rose Farm in another stream in this game in Ultimate General Gettysburg. And no, this ain't hoaxed. I did not make the video. But if it's Gettysburg, it's real. And <laughs> that's that. Watch that tree on the left. Are they freaking out yet? Yeah, they will be. Yep, look at the tree. Watch that tree. You'll see some lights flashing over there in the woods. There's no roads or anything over there. There's, no, there's nothing over there. Watch that tree on the left and then straight ahead you'll see some soldiers walking like they're marching in the lake and bottom. That tree over there on the left. Look at the soldiers straight ahead. There's two of them. They're walking the line. Look at they're walking the line. They're marching. Gettysburg, man. Yeah, come to Gettysburg. If you want to get on it, come to Gettysburg. And if you run into this guy in the battlefield, all right, make sure you have cornbread. Lots of cornbread. If you see this guy, make sure you have cornbread. He's mostly harmless. He smokes a lot of pot. Dude, we're going to be doing some really good content this year. I'm going to have some help. I'll be setting up a cam soon, you guys. Live stream cam, right? Probably on my YouTube channel. It's going to be looking right out to the west here at the Appalachians. It's going to be a bitchin' view on my cam. Stay tuned. Of Harris Ridge, where we're going to be fighting, but it's going to be a kick-ass view, like really looking at the mountains, man. Yeah, I'm good. We're <laughs> Yeah, Gettysburg. I was just telling McCater, I was telling McCater that uh, there's parts of the battlefield, dude, I'm, tough, I'm tough as a coffin now, but there's parts of the battlefield, I'm just not in the mood to see something freaky. So I avoid that part of the battlefield when I used to walk home at night. <laughs> right, I'm like, nah, I don't wanna see nothing weird tonight. So let's see how we're gonna do. And I'm taking my time in this. Yup, take my time in this. Rock and roll. Cool beans. Cool freaking beans. So we need to take Hare's Ridge, McPherson's Ridge, and Oak Ridge. Right here is like right around my house. Cool beans, man. And dude, you're good. I hope you've been good. Tanker, are you on my Facebook? Are we Facebook friends? Because I think we are. I 
No, because there was I did a fundraiser on my Facebook, and there was a gentleman who made a big donation to a fundraiser I did on Facebook, and I could have swore it was you. Guy looked just like you. And I was thinking, yeah, that might have been Tanker like added me on Facebook. Yeah, I was wondering. That's cool. When when do you, you usually stream at some weird hours. Like you're usually like late, like late night sometimes. When are you gonna be streaming next? Shooting bad guys. Cause I like listening in your stream. I watch you guys stream too. I watch you guys chill right here, watch you guys stream. It's better than freaking Oprah. It's better than Phil Donahue. Right on Friday night, cool. What day is it, Tuesday? It's almost, it's after 11. Yep, it's Tuesday. Rock and roll, army details. Yeah. All right, old Robert. Kick ass condition, 100%, 67% morale because we just marched up from Virginia. Kick ass, AP Hell, otherwise known as Patrick Falky. Dark beard, red shirt, can't mess up. Very nice man. Patrick Falky tools around to colleges and does lectures about AP Hell's. About AP Hell, he is AP Hell. Guys, let's see what the Yanks got. General Meade, that's my friend Joe. I want I freaking love to get him over here on live stream to do an interview. General Reynolds dies right over here. I'm pointing like really like where he got killed. Cavalry Corps, who we got? Pleasanton. And then we're gonna have General Custer and Jeb Stewart up north. Northeast. missing anything I think that's it yeah, rock and roll and so what I like about this is I can pause it so it is in my opinion this is turn-based people call it an RTS but I'm like I can pause it place my troops let the action unfold it was a bloody night in town last night no shit so boom, hot diggity before they can, they're gonna fire off a salvo freaking right off the bat. Oh, oh, nine, nine, there we go. So we are live from right here at the Spangler Farm. This is where I live. This is where I live right here. And across the street, this is the Emanuel Harmon Farm. And so these were my cousins that lived here during the Battle of Gettysburg. And so most of my videos that you guys, if you ever watch my videos on my field notes page or my excursions into the past, most of my videos are on this map. Most of my excursions of the past and field notes videos are this map. This is where I do my videos. Rock and roll, man, we are gonna kick some ass. Hell yeah. Rock and roll. So yeah, McPherson's barn. You guys have seen you guys have seen me at the barn. Dozens of videos. Some of my videos, man, they got thirty thousand views. Kicking it at the barn. Sunrise. I go to the barn and I always go to the barn. There's a spot of trees there where that little shack is, that little shed. And I film sunrise on New Year's Day. Rain, sleet or snow, whatever. I'm out there. Rock and roll. And so we'll try to get there again. I always tell you guys, Willoughby runs in my front yard right on. So that's where we're at. And so, yeah, I look out this right window. That's what we got. We got Davis. We got the 42nd Mississippi. We got Archer and his first Tennessee. We got Heath, the big hat Heath. I thought he had a lot more troops than that. This game's got as many skirmishers. And I'm like, I, don't know, I thought he had as many. As many this is uh, Tennessee Brigade. 42nd Mississippi. We're going to bring our artillery. See, I know the topography. I don't need a topo map, man. I know where the ridges are because I live here. I know every freaking tree, every rock, every fox den. I've snowshoed. I have snowshoed this entire Willoughby run when it's frozen, 
parks closed. You guys want to come out and snowshoe on the battlefield, man? They're sitting right there. You're welcome to them. Come have some fun. It's bitching. And so you look out my window, you got Hairs Ridge Inn right there. And so this is great, man. 1863, July 1st, 8 a.m. And what happens? Marcellus Jones, I think it's the 8th or 12th Illinois Cavalry, puts his carbine right on a fence post. Pop. Right out here, right? Out here on Chambersburg Road, right out here. He takes a shot at a Confederate. First shot at Gettysburg. And we fired that first shot right off my balcony, too. Kick ass. And so, Hare's Tavern. And so, Buford. Buford, where are you at? Yeah, Buford's sitting right up here, right? So, Buford's sitting right up here. He's got four cannons sitting up here. And so, he fires off the first cannon shot of the Battle of Gettysburg. And that cannon is a quarter of a mile. It's right there. That first cannon that fired the first shot, first cannon shot. Kick ass. So, what are we going to do? Let's go, go, go. We're going to group. We're going to take Heath. We're going to take him down into Harmon Woods. Yeah, we're going to flank good. And this is what happened, too. I'm kind of kind to do what happened to the best of my ability. So we're going to take these guys right around to the Harmon Farm so we can flank. Yeah, this is a little weird, so I'm like still getting used to it. And they're going to take a shitload of shots at us, but we're going to be blocked by them woods, right? And Archer's got a full freaking Tennessee Brigade. Come on, don't get all poopy on me. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's kick some ass. We need to get further down. We're going to flank them hard. Right? Yeah, we're going to come right up on the freaking Iron Brigade. They're going to shit their pants. Don Law, 142nd PA. We're about to bury your cousins. Love those guys, 142nd PA. They're a Yankee unit, obviously, and I love doing freaking uh, living history with those guys. Their entire unit, 1863, here at the Battle of Gettysburg, I think this engagement right here that we're doing, 142nd Pennsylvania, I think they may have had three survivors. The whole thing. They were annihilated. So, yeah, we're going to bring up all of our artillery right up onto Hare's Ridge. So we're at the peak right there. Kick ass. Boom, boom, boom. Cool beans. Yep, we're going to take Davis' 42nd. And now what they did right behind our, right behind the house, right, is the railroad cut. This railroad was not finished at the time. It was a ditch. So I always thought it was kind of strange that some of Davis' 42nd, these guys would want, they tried to come down the ditch, right? They tried to come down the railroad cut. This is the infamous railway cut, right? And so this whole battle ensued. This whole battle ensued right up, right up before this ridge, right in here. This whole freaking battle ensued. They were past Willoughby Run. So the Confederates are down on the railway, the railway cut, the Yankees just came in on them. Freaking Rufus Dawes and the Iron Brigade freaking annihilated them. So I had three cousins that were with Davis with the 42nd Mississippi. I had three cousins, okay? They are listed as missing. They disappeared off the face of the earth. They're buried in the earth somewhere right here at this fight, right with Davis's 42nd. And who else? Archer's Brigade from Tennessee. I might have had one ancestor with him, but I had three ancestors that were with the 42nd. And Zimmerman, yeah, we're going to have to group that artillery, too. We're going to have to keep our artillery together. I don't want to space them out because they're going to have skirmishers. They're going to roll up. They're going to take my artillery. They're going to mess us up. So, yeah, I think we could put you just about anywhere. So we're going to put you right here, shooting right into my window. Yep. Hot dog. Oh, there they are. And so these woods right here are called Erbst Woods. And my good friend, April Erbst, this is her ancestor's woods there. They lived here. And she's a cool chick, and she loves cows. She's got a big farm with a bunch of cows. Right on. Welcome to Pensy. Welcome to freaking Pensy. I like Pennsylvania very much. It's beautiful. Lots of stuff to do here. Yep, we got all kinds of freaking Yankees everywhere. Look at them. 
and then tomorrow we're going to play Yankee. We should play this as Yankee after we do Confederate, right? Yeah, we'll turn the tables. Bitchin. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yep, so let's see what happens. So our artillery should be on auto. I'm going to group them all. Yeah, they should be on auto. Like I said, I know how to play this like 80, 90%. There's probably some wacky stuff that I don't know yet. Yeah, I want to flank these guys. You know what? Let's bring Archer right around. This is really what happened. This property right here, this property right here, changed hands at least eight times between the Iron Brigade, Archer's Brigade, changed hands back and forth, man. I'm thinking I might roll up and just roll right up into Gambles, man. This time, I usually do this flanking. Let's get right freaking up and kick some ass. Bring these skirmishers around from big hat, hairy freaking Heath. So Heath, Heath skirmishers here, right? So General Heath, on this day, General Heath, after the Confederates had taken this property, once they had taken this real estate, General Heath was riding his horse right around through, right around through here, okay? He took a bullet, right, right skimmed his head. He skimmed his head. And to this day, everyone thinks that it was a Yankee sharpshooter sitting in McPherson's barn. So what happened is they bandaged him up and then squeezed his hat on his head. And he got the nickname Big Hat Heath. Okay, and so there's a stump and it's called Heath Stump. All right, and the stump is kind of a marker, a landmark of where he got shot and skimmed his head. And that stump is right down here. Not too many people know where it is. And it's really rotten now. It's hard to find. But I know right where it is, right down in here. A couple stories for you guys. Right on. Let's get these bastards. We're just going to go for them this time. Yep, and this, this is more or less what happened. We had the 26th North Carolina coming up. We had Alabama. That's not just Tennessee with Archer. That's also Alabama with Archer. Well, our 26th North Carolina will be coming right up through here and kicking the shit out of them. North Carolina took more casualties than any state in the entire Civil War. On the Trail of Tears. Oh, no shit. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can thank Ulysses S. Grant for that. That was all his doing. All of it. All for gold and oil and coal. Yep. Grant made that decision. You probably already know that. You know more than I do. You know what, man? I was thinking about you earlier. I got Needhart, John Needhart's books over there. I got all his books. Black Elk Speaks. Have you ever read, have you ever read John Fire Lame Deer, Seeker of Visions? It's uh, akin to Black Elk Speaks. And um, yeah, Needhart wrote those books that I think Dances of the Wolves was based on, but Needhart was the real deal, like his journals and his diaries and stuff and the stuff he wrote. I'm sure you've already read it, dude. But I, if you haven't read John Fire Lame Deer, man, it's really good stuff. I know it sounds new agey and stuff, but it's like the real deal. He's given things from his perspective, from your people's perspective about the world in 70s and 80s. Yeah, excellent. One of my favorite books. Black Elk Speaks is a classic, but I like John Fire Lame Deer better. To be honest with you, all right, you guys, so I'll shut my yammer. Let's freaking fight. We're going to have cavalry. Cavalry are going to fish hook up here. Up here we got Oak Ridge. And then the thing is, is we're going to be catching artillery from Benner's Hill up here. I'm pretty no, they weren't no, they weren't up there yet. Yeah, they weren't up there yet because there's gonna be a freaking artillery duel across all this freaking land, man. So let's see what's gonna happen. And so F is for fallback. And we can do run or we can do walk. I didn't know we could do that. And so Davis's troops, I didn't fucking set them yet. So let's get going, Davis. Rock and roll. I don't really want to take them through the railroad. I, want, I don't want to take them through the railroad car. I want them to engage where they engage. Rock and roll. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. So I can take my artillery. 
I can set my shots. Fire, boys. Fire. Fire. Rock and roll. Ooh. I know. I'm chilling. I'm puffing a bowl. <laughs> my brain's on multiple sclerosis. Let's go. Fire, fire, fire. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Come on. Auto, auto, auto. Get up on that ridge. Get up on that ridge. Get up on that ridge. Let's go. Let's go. Right on, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, General Archer. Yeah. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. We need you. We need you. Come on. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Come on, get him out of Earth's woods. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Shoot. Kill them all. So I can. Yeah, that's what I want to see right there, boys. Let's fire, fire, fire. I didn't know I could do that. That was a guess. All right, guys, time to flank. Where's our skirmishers? Fuck, they're gonna get hammered. Let's go, boys, let's go, boys, let's go, boys. Fire. Let's bring that freaking artillery up. We're gonna need it. Oh, shit burgers. Let's go, y'all, let's go, y'all. Right onto the Harmon farm. Yep. Take you right to Warlord's house, right there. Kick ass, boys. Hold. Rock and roll. Kick ass. They're going to be bringing up freaking reinforcements. Let's go. Let's take those woods. Let's take those woods. So right here at these woods, you guys, right here at these woods, where we're going. Eight thousand men died in 20 minutes. Firing each other point blank range right where we're at. No shit. That's where I saw my ghost sighting in my ghost video. Let's go. Come on. Attack, attack, attack. Let's move up. Let's move up. Let's move up. Let's move up. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Fire, fire, fire. Boom. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Do we get reinforcements? The rest of our division's forces are here, sir. We need them urgently to support the attack before the Yanks bring more reinforcements. And no shit, they're coming. They're coming, boy. They're coming from D.C. with Joe Meade. Shitload. 150,000 freaking soldiers are converging on this town of about 600 people. Imagine. Imagine you live in a town these days. Let's say you live in a town like Gettysburg. Gettysburg, 6,000 people these days. The city of Chicago depends. The city of Chicago descends upon your little town. That's what these people are like. Holy shit. There's 150,000 men trying to kill each other. These people are flipping, and it was a surprise. They're eating breakfast, looking out the window, going, what the hell? Yeah. Spit out your oatmeal and run. Get the cows. Let's go. So what are we going to do about these guys? Let's get our reinforcements. Where's our reinforcements? We got all of our artillery right there. I wish we can get closer in first and second and third force and view. And so check it out. I found this game and it's called, it's this battle. It's Gettysburg, Ultimate General, Armored Fury or something. It's like the Battle of Gettysburg refought in modern times, but with like modern Abrams tanks and shit. Yeah, I can't wait to find that. <laughs> like the Battle of Gettysburg with freaking tanks. I was like, yeah. Dude, where's our reinforcements? The thing is, our general, I don't know anything about our general or like how we use him. I mean, I know I can select our entire army if I grab him. But it seems like he's just AI kind of doing his own thing. I don't know. So there's a few things I haven't figured out yet. But it's pretty simple. You know. 
a day that I'm not feeling so good, a day I'm not feeling so good, I'm chilling, I just want to click around on a map, perfect freaking game. And so Irish Reb, my bro, he's the Sergeant Major of the Army in Northern Virginia, for real. There's not really an Army in Northern Virginia, we just pretend we're the Army in Northern Virginia, right? And then they ram their rods and they shoot their balls all over the battlefield. But he suggested this game, and it's a perfect game. When he suggested it, I was like, yeah, man, this is just what I was looking for. Plus, I can freaking get my Gettysburg fix, man. I know I live here, but shit, I can't get out there. So rock and roll, what do we do when we're stuck inside? We go places in 3D. So where the hell's our reinforcements, man? So they're going to stop over here at the, at the tavern. There's sh right next to this place, right? Now, the Hare's Ridge Inn is there. It's like a B&B. &B. It's fine dining. These days, right next door is Sharpshooters. Sharpshooters Tavern. There's a big pub. It's nice. They got pool tables, jukebox, hamburgers, crab cakes, stuff like that. Good brews. Willie puts on a big, fat, freaking barbecue. This dude sits out there with this big, freaking barbecue. People driving it up, man, delivering it. So good. You can smell it all the way from here drives me barbecue bananas okay. we're sitting in Herbst Woods these suckers are going to hold they are going to get reinforced by the Iron Brigade big time Rufus Dawes where is General Reynolds he should be here yep he should be here General Reynolds should be here yeah he's got to be here unless we killed him already Shit, that's a sad story, too. You guys are done. You guys are done. Done, done, done. Let's get that artillery rocking. Artillery, 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 artillery. Let's go, boys. Let's go, let's go. Get you up on McPherson's Ridge. Shooting over the barn. Hell yeah, right into town, because that's where we're going to need you. Oh, diesel locked. I forgot how to do that. Right on. You, right up there, boy. You, right up on that hill. Yep, right into town. Yep, we're going to freaking blow up the Taco Bell. No shit. In a video game sense. For all you data sensors out there. Bitchin'. Oh, I didn't want you guys. So, let's see if we can grab them without grabbing the 42nd Mississippi. Get you guys up on McPherson's Ridge. Let's go, let's go, let's go, guys. Fuck yeah, look at that. Oh my god, we're gonna kill them. Alright, what are we gonna do with Davis and these Mississippians? Because shit, we could take this hill right now. And there is no easy, medium, or hard in this at all. You play it as it is. It's pretty simple. It's very easy to play. There's no like the attrition algorithms and everything's built in. There's like there's no indicators. I mean it's like it's really that simple, you know? Which is great. Oh shit. What? Wait, uh yeah. Um what? Wait, um wait, 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 wait. What just happened? <laughs> Did I just lose that freaking battle? Let's jam through it. We'll get caught back up to where I was. I said what I had to say. <laughs> Shit, sorry guys. Let's go. Do it again. Let's go, Sam. You. Let's go, boy. Let's go. Shit. That was a freaking warlord moment, wasn't it? Alright, guys. Let's go, Davis. No shit. Let's get you up where you're supposed to be. Rock and roll. Let's go, boys. Get you up on that ridge. Get you up on that ridge. Get you up on that ridge. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's play, let's play, let's play. Sorry about that, guys. Same deal. Fucking A, watch it again. Let's move. Go, go, go. Run, run, run. Oh, taking it. So Archer was captured. Archer, Archer was the vanguard. Archer was the vanguard of this attack. 
And in this attack, General Archer was captured by a big Irishman. Uh, it was what, either the second or the seventh Wisconsin. And he was captured down here near a willow tree. Skirmishers, boys, let's go this way. Come on, run, 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 run. Let's go, let's go. Come on, Davis, get those Mississippians up there. Shoot. I think, nope, shoot. Okay, all oh, you boys, get into place. I need you shoot, shoot. All right, boys, let's get them, let's get them, let's get them. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Let's go, boys. Let's go. I think I can. All three. Oh, fuck. I don't want this shit. There's no way to undo my shit. Boom. I want you guys firing. Let's go. Fire, 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 fire. Let's go. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Come on, General Archer. Let's go. Attack, attack, attack. Davis the Mississippians 88 88th Pennsylvania Wadsworth 82nd Illinois Danes North Swedes yeah no shit now this farm changed hands about eight times oh Fire. Come on, Davis. Take him. Take him. Take him. Take him. Let's take these woods. Let's go. Let's go. Let's take these woods. Yeah! Oh, man, shit. I've walked every foot of this, you guys. I'll tell you what. That's the thing. When you're when you're on that ground, man, and you know what happened, I'll tell you what, puts a lump in your throat every time. Makes the hair stand up on the back of your neck, too. Let's go, boys. Come on, let's get him. Let's just take him. Y'all dead me. Let's go, General Heath. Yep, that's just what they did too. Let's go. Cut cru they're going right across Willoughby Run. It's right out my window. This is this is what they were doing. I live right here. Look at this shit. Oh, you guys are dead me. We need to bring up that artillery. Yeah, because we're gonna need it quick. Left, let's go. Shit, these skirmishes are freaking hurting. Attack, General Archer. Attack him, attack him, attack him, attack him, attack him. I just read that right on. <laughs> right on, go take her. <coughs> All right, now the battle's really gonna freaking begin, man. Holy shit, look at this, here they come. 26 North Carolina, no shit. 13 South Carolina, I had uh, three cousins in the 13 South Carolina. Hell yeah, look at this. Boy, we should be rolling up, we're gonna take some troops. Now what we did was, Yeah. 
yep, there's Gettysburg College. It's these days, it's Gettysburg College. Yep, and now right down here is Pickett's Buffet. Now there's a KFC next door, but the Pickett's Buffet, fuck yeah. And over here is Mr. G's Ice Cream. You don't want to miss Mr. G's Ice Cream. It's the cheapest and it's the best. How about that? So let's kick these guys' ass. Oh, you guys are dead meat. So our general just kinds of kicks it. And what's going to happen is General Custer or someone, and General Custer was here, and so was Jeb Stewart. But uh, some Yankee cavalry are going to come around and going to try to capture my general. Now I've tried to capture the Union general. I don't know. It's unsuccessful. It's weird. So we're going to bring Brock and Bra around down here because this is where all the Yankees would be coming into town, right? And so we're going to have the Iron Brigade roll out unless they're already here. Oh, there's General Reynolds right there. First Corps. The First Corps have arrived, okay? And so the, so the Confederates are rolling into town. They thought it was a few local militia. They thought they'd come into town, maybe get some blankets, get some food, grab a couple of tacos, drink a few beers, dance a few dances at the freaking roller disco. Every Confederate loves that. And so they rolled in here and no shit. You know what happens? General Reynolds shows up, right? So General Buford saw them first, okay, and then sent dispatches to go talk to General Reynolds. General Reynolds was the highest ranking officer in this entire battle. He was offered command of the Union Army by Abraham Lincoln, but he turned it down. I can't really remember why. I think it was a matter of a lot of responsibility, big battle coming up, and he was supposed to get married. Something like that. There's probably a lot of factors. But um, tragic. He get, took one right in the neck early in the morning, brunch time, uh, day one this battle he's actually he's already dead in real life he's already dead he took a bullet he took a bullet right here so Jenner Reynolds is right here and a bullet came right through the woods during this engagement and took him right in the neck highest ranking highest ranking officer highest ranking general one of the first to die boom so that's what happened so what are we gonna do with our 42nd mess yeah oh we're gonna have some fun with you look at the flank on that and I they're gonna blast me uh, we better open up on Cutler we better yeah we better open on that uh, open up on the first core let's go Davis let's kick some freaking ass yeah we need to get up on McPherson's Ridge now now the first core is coming yeah oh oh nine nine didn't want to do that Who am I commanding? <laughs> um, what are these? These guys? No, you're going into the woods, son. You're gonna take that freaking barn. Oh, come on. Take those skirmishers deep into the woods. Now let's draw a circle right on. Let's go, boys. I'm just gonna do it individually. Yep, you need to charge now. You boys need to blast these guys. Bang. See ya. Yep. I want these guys I want these guys firing. They need to fire right now. Annihilate these guys. Yep. You guys are about to get hammered. Pettigrew is coming. No shit. Yeah, I need to put some tunes on for these quiet moments. For these quiet, brooding, romantic, Civil War, hobo moments. Rock and roll. Got some tunes for you. Rebel Union. Some friends of mine from West Virginia. Real nice couple. I was Master Gardener at the Brick House Inn when I met them. Kick ass, drink your tea. Hot diggity dog. You all are having some hot cocoa. Make sure you put some peppermint schnapps in it. So what are we going to do with General Pettigrew? He's going to freaking come and save the day. 
So where we're gonna take you. This is uh, this is the road right in front of my house. So that used to be Chambersburg Road. We call it Buford in here these days. So yep, I need you here. You, you're going south. Yep, because I'm gonna need you for the Iron Brigade. Right there. You, yep, you got it. You know what we need to annihilate? This guy, see ya. That guy, see ya. Let's see what happens. Hot dog. dog. So I can hold my middle mouse button, let's get Heath Skirmishers, and I can see which way their line is facing, because I need them facing that way. Archer, yeah, he's good. Archer's good. Now I can double grab these guys, and yeah, it looks like I can only do one at a time. That's fine. Say goodnight. Yep, say goodnight. You guys are done. Done, done, done. Yep, Zimmerman, where are you going? Yep, Davis, let's go. We need you right up here right now. Right, boy, we are going to be having some reinforcements coming in. Yeah. Hot diggity freaking dog. There's nothing like doing this for real. You guys want to do this for real, man? Come to Gettysburg, you hit me up. Hit up Irish Rev in the chat. Look how much they got reinforced. Yep, come on boys, let's go, let's go. Now, so you're going right there, you're gonna recuperate. Let's go, Brock and Bra. Run, 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 run. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Run, run, run. Run, 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 run. Let's move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Archer, fall back. Fall back, boys, fall back. Yes, sir. Rock and freaking roll. Destroy them. Hold. Right on. Oh, yeah, baby. Right there. Let's go, Pettigrew. Let's go, Pettigrew. Right where I need you. Right, Brock and Bra, let's go, let's go, let's go, sir. General Archer, you are back in the fight. Let's get your skirmishers rolling. Let's get them someplace safe to recuperate. Let's see where artillery needs to be going. Artillery needs to be following the army. We'll take tankers word on that. No, that's bad right there. Yeah, because he's, uh, I can't put him in the railroad cut. He can't be shooting up and out. Look at that, where are we at? Oh, yeah, I see ya. Oh, I see ya. You guys, shit. What do we got, artillery? Right, Pat, this is my cousin's farm right there. You guys are in deep shit. Right, bring that artillery. 
artillery up. Looks like we lost one artillery piece. The duty dealers, more of them. You sons of bitches. Ah, oh, we're coming for you. Ah, oh, we are freaking coming for you. Nope, you boys need to fall back. I'm gonna lose you. Dude, go tanker, you sleep well, man. I'm sorry if I missed your chat. Their third richest tribe, man. I read that already, right on. Dude, rest well. Thanks for stopping and hanging for a few. stuff thanks for saying so cool beans man freaking battle of gettysburg yeah i don't see custer yet but we're gonna see him we might see jeb stewart up here now i forget what the command is i forget what the command is back to battle don't have no artillery up on that ridge. We got that 1,000. Yeah, Hammer those bitches right there. Ah, oh, boy, we're in a bad spot down south. just selects all units. It's, I don't really see how he does anything. Huh, 
that time, I've tried to move him by himself and I couldn't move him. I must have been grabbing him along. So cool beans. Like I said, I'm still trying to figure out some things in this game, but boy, it sure is fun. It's just right for me, I like it. So we'll look for a uh, updated version, man. And you know, I'm curious if there's a, uh, I don't know, Penguin rolls in, maybe there's a, uh, he might know if there's a uh, Civil War Total War. I like watching Penguin play Total War. He's good, he's real good. I just hit R for run, you know. It's a gamble. Ha! Nah, hold.
I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna freshen up my tea. Let's get back in the game. Tanker, thanks. Tanker, thanks for stopping in. Rest well, bud. Yep, definitely having fun with us. Prost. Lingonberries. So here come my cousins. I had three cousins with parents. Moving all that artillery up. Let's move parent up. We're going to need you. We're going to need you. Artillery's gonna get attacked by cavalry. Yeah, they'll attack that flank.
kitchen. We didn't do as good as last time. I think the last game I played, I played a, uh, I don't know if I streamed it or not. I played it earlier. The Union had no objectives. They didn't look, they, complete losses. We annihilated them. Went hand-to-hand -hand combat like full freaking, let's see, battle deployed. I think I hit this before and it let me play the music. Yeah, up here. But in any event, we had I had them, the last scenario I played, we had them in town, it was hand-to-hand -hand combat, it was just like brawling in the streets, it was crazy. 50,000 men freaking trying to kill each other with their bare hands, it was nuts. Yeah, it was just a big pile of little icons. A rock and roll losses 29 11 losses and the Yankees only lost 1400 we lost 2900 they had that defensive position that defensive stance to hold that town and protect the town keep it in Union hands and so they took those defensive positions on Farnsworth Hill little round top big round top and Culp's Hill. Cool, that is fun. I really enjoy this game. It's chill. I can just click and point, pause. Enjoy the tunes. Hmm. So that's that. So we're going to play... Oh, yeah. The Confederates are driven back to Hare's Ridge. They are... Interesting. July 1st afternoon, the Confederates are driven back to Hare's Ridge. Really? Well, they they not driven back. That happened like eight times. That that property I showed you guys changed hands half a dozen, a dozen times. Confederates capture Oak Hill. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, I love it. This is my neighborhood. This is everything outside. This is so cool. Confederates capture Oak Ridge. Iverson, Iverson's Brigade. I bet you we'd have Iverson in that. Very first reported ghost story. The Battle of Gettysburg was at Iverson's Pits, where Iverson's men were annihilated. And so when we play that, I'll sh share the very first Gettysburg ghost story with you. Yeah, day one, look at that afternoon advance to Hare Ridge, that's cool. Confederates capture Seminary Ridge, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I never played this. They abandoned Oak Hill, that was, got a hell of a stories to tell. Hell of a stories. This is where I usually have hung out the last several years doing my living history. Right here in my neighborhood. Evening, look at this. I haven't looked at this. Yeah, I've not seen these. Boy, a lot of cool scenarios. Nice. charge plays Armistead and so the multiplayer I think got a little wonky on me let's see what it does let's see if it's gonna switch for me not get too weird yeah it got weird it crashed out oh oh that's firing back up multiplayer version oh there we go all right Daryl of Gettysburg second lieutenant cool I chose uh, General Archer Tennessee Brigade, Robert E. Lee, Longstreet, right on. I think that's Reynolds, I think. There's uh, General Meade, Buford. Cool, yep, we'll be Archer. Awesome, 
And so I tried to connect, it was a little weird. I'm gonna have to look into this, do some homework and see if like the servers are even running, people are still playing. I would imagine they are. Heck man, this is a popular series. Back when dinosaurs played video games. That was fun. <clears throat> yep, that's a fun game. Thanks for hanging out tonight, y'all. Thanks for stopping in, Tanker. Always good to see you, dude. Always good to see you. Have fun and play your games in Mercator. Good to see you, too. Thanks for stopping in and chatting, you guys. I like this little game. It's fun. So, my friends, I am going to Dreamland. Yep, wait for that next, next big blizzard. leave you with something fun. I'll do my best. Enjoy the ghost camp for a few, y'all. See you soon. Warlord over and out. Be safe. Keep smiling. Make good memories. See you soon.